First, though, heart health may look different for women. A stroke survivor shares warnings every woman should hear when we come back. One in three women are affected by cardiovascular disease. One in three. That could be your mother. Your sister. Or your friend. The American Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign is all about women's heart health, an important cause because cardiovascular disease and stroke are the number one killer of women. Margaret Duden joins us now, and she represents Go Red for Women after surviving a stroke before her 40th birthday. Thank you so much for being here today. It's such Thank an important you. cause. We really appreciate you taking the time uh, to educate us on this. I did not know that more women suffer from stroke and heart attack than men every year. That's a that's staggering number, isn't it? Yes. And we need to pay attention as women. Yes, absolutely. And that's what Go Red for Women is all about. So tell me a little bit about your story. It was right before your 40th birthday yes. that you suffered stroke. A couple of weeks before my 40th birthday, I lost control over my left side. I had involuntary movements, so my leg would kick out, my left arm would be flailing, and I wouldn't be able to control it. So um, these movements just kind of it kept kicking worse. my leg. It kept getting worse until I couldn't walk. And I thought it was just stress, so I didn't really pay attention. But then eventually it got so bad I couldn't walk. Um, I definitely couldn't drive because I accidentally veered oh into the oncoming traffic, you know, Involuntarily. Involuntarily. Yes. Um, so I went to the doctor the day after my 40th birthday because I didn't want to spend my 40th birthday in, in the hospital potentially. Right. And I had an MRI and it showed that I had a stroke in the right middle cerebral artery. And that was two and a half years ago? Yes. And you have fully recovered? Yes. And so you're here today to tell people this can happen to young women? Yes. It can happen to anyone? Yes, it can. Even women who are physically fit, who don't have high cholesterol, or who don't have any of the typical risk factors. And so this Friday, we're all going to wear red for women uh, mm -hmm. to try to raise awareness for this, right? Yes. Do you think that there are enough people out there that, um, that don't potentially know the warning signs of, of heart attack and stroke? Because they can be different for women, and they are different for women. Right. And my symptoms were very different than the stroke system or symptoms people typically think about. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to try to raise awareness about the fact that the symptoms of stroke can be very different in women and to pay attention. And if something weird is happening, go see your doctor. The more we talk about it, the more people that light goes on in the back of their head that says something may be wrong, I need to do something, we could be potentially saving lives. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Uh, we really appreciate it. It is super important. Uh, and this Friday, February 7th, by the way, is National Wear Red Day. The event at Mall of America, the Go Red Health Expo, is the following day, Saturday from 11 until 3. It is free and open to the public, and you can find all the event details and more of Margaret's story, actually, at care11.com slash news at 4.